In the early 20th century, the parched American Southwest was becoming desperate for both water and power. It was a problem that would require an epic engineering solution. And Professor of Civil Engineering Andrew Smith is heading for a bird's eye view of it. Wow. This is the Hoover Dam. At the time of its construction, this was the world's largest concrete structure that had ever been built. Even today, roughly 80 years later, it takes your breath away. The Hoover Dam was like nothing that had been built before. Weighing in at 6.6 .6 million tons of concrete, this was an unparalleled engineering marvel. By attempting to tame the mighty Colorado River and harness the power locked within it, its engineers were setting themselves a seemingly impossible challenge. The dam stands 700 feet tall and has a base thickness of 660 feet. The biggest problem and the biggest challenge was one of sheer scale. The problem lies in the way that the chemical components of concrete react. So what I have here is cement as well as water. And these are really the two main active ingredients in the curing process. Now, before it really starts to cure, let's quickly check the temperature. Before I dipped it into the concrete, the thermometer was already reading 44 degrees Celsius. Gives you an idea of how hot it is here. It takes just half an hour for the temperature of the mix to reach its peak at 68 degrees Celsius. So that's an increase from our original temperature of 24 degrees Celsius. And you could really, really feel the heat. Engineers estimated that if they poured all the concrete in one go, it would take 125 years to cure and cool, meaning uneven setting and potentially catastrophic cracking. It was down to the project's general supervisor, Frank Crow, to solve the conundrum. And what he came up with is still visible today in the old engineers' inspection tunnels, running deep within the dam. So Frank Crow, nicknamed here on the site, Hurry Up Crow, came up with an ingenious method for cooling the concrete to help it cure faster. The solution was to pass extremely cold water through one inch pipes. And the amazing thing is we can actually still see evidence of those pipes here. In 1931, thousands of workers began constructing the dam out of a series of gigantic blocks all the time cooling the concrete with ice-cold water produced by a specially built refrigeration plant. And it worked perfectly. The whole job was completed in 1935, two years ahead of schedule. And the record-breaking dam even created a record-breaking body of water behind it. This is Lake Mead. When the dam was erected, it became the world's largest man-made lake. At full capacity, they say, the volume of water could cover the state of Connecticut with 10 feet of water. As an engineer, this is an incredible sight to see. Harnessing the power of the Colorado and the giant Lake Mead meant even now, over 80 years later, the Hoover Dam provides electricity to three states and brings light to some of the world's great metropolises.